What's going on, fellow humans and resellers? It is I, James. Redoptionagency.com. 21 years selling on eBay. All right. How did yesterday turn out? Woohoo! <laughs> with all you guys who interact with me on Facebook and stuff, you pretty much know. <laughs> but for everybody else, wow. Got everything pulled for this morning. Got a couple of offers here. So uh, let's start with overnight. Overnight, I got two offers in the in like about a 10 hour span. So still feels like there's offer issues going on. We're probably on two weeks of offer issues happening. Another thing I noticed too, when, since uh, about two days ago, since we've been having this offer issue, it does appear they're working on it because, or this is what's causing the problem, because I know months and months ago when the offer issue was happening, when you click to respond to an offer, the uh, buttons would switch place because I got into a routine where I know exactly where to go to accept the offer. To the left-hand side, the bright blue box, like I'm just looking at right now. But when there seems to be off issues going on, that box will switch over to the middle at times and make a counter offer. It will switch over to the left at times. So I noticed that the last couple of days. Because I'll start the, I'll go ahead and automatically click, click on the left to accept it and it'll take me to counter. And then I realized, wait, I just clicked on the wrong button. And then I start paying attention and I notice it, but now this one's correct. And Cause I've had to counter those, both of those. So, but yeah, definitely I've gotten more offers in the last 49 minutes than I did overnight in the last 10 hours. So I got one at 11, 14 PM and then one at 5 AM. So problems there. Um, and then, yeah, overnight was not good for sales either. Kind of very spotty. So I've already deleted them, so I can't really give you details. But um, let's go to performance. So yesterday, I reached out to eBay, and from the last five or six reps I've dealt with, before when I've had issues, you can tell who the seasoned reps are and who the newbie reps are. And probably the last five or six I've dealt with, three of them yesterday, they all feel brand new. So I don't know if it's just the hit and miss of it or if the seasons ones moved on. But uh, after yesterday's, and then I, um, every time I come, almost every time I comment on Facebook, I'll tag eBay, I'll tag eBay for business with the problems. And one or the other usually responds back to me, normally eBay for business. And so I send them all the info too. So I had two places looking and on eBay for business. And this is no knock to the eBay reps because they're only, they have to deal with what they're just doing their part of the job as limited information and stuff that they have. So they're basically in a box and the stuff that we're dealing with now on the eBay website is way outside of their box. So it's not on them. It's on the company as a whole. And they're not, they're not they're basically the first line of defense for eBay. Their job is to push everybody else away. Let us back here do our job, kind of like the government, the president. They're the first line of defense. They're just there to distract everybody else while what's really going on behind the curtains, you can't get to, you can't see, you don't know. Same thing with eBay. eBay is set up just like the government. The reps are the presidents and all the people you see on TV going at each other. They're just there as the first line of defense. Courtney, 
open the door. So they're both down here. Vern's right here. <laughs> She's, I, I kind of taught her how to open and close the doors. So she's she's a little smart girl. So she was able to uh, finick feed the door open and get down. I didn't have it completely closed, so she was able to weasel her way through it. So she got them both down here. So that's awesome. But uh, I just hope he's all right. So, uh, but yeah. So after dealing with eBay for business yesterday, um, I gave him the info on the organic page views. And then after that, I started seeing people sharing, screen sharing, uh, showing that the eBay site is down. Uh, it's not you, it's us. So the eBay site definitely crashed yesterday evening. And then he came back to me with, uh, well, I don't see what you're saying. Once I saw that, I didn't even read the rest of it. I'm just like, you know what, never mind. I'm like, there's so much going on with this site now. People are now sharing, showing the eBay sites down. Uh, I'm just at my wits end. Uh, just never mind. This is, I'm tired of fighting eBay website with all these issues that are going on. My job is supposed to be, you know, listing, shipping, taking care of customers. I shouldn't have to be fighting the website to get sales. I shouldn't have to be... You know, so I just, I, I put all that in and I go, you know, never mind. You know, I, I understand from years of talking to reps that you guys are given limited tools. You don't exactly know what's going on with the tech side of it. I understand that. It's nothing against you guys. Never mind. I'm done. I'm just, I'm done. So after the last six or so people I've interacted with, it feels like the seasoned people, they was part of the big, you're out of here. And they probably got in new people, paid them less. And so we're, they're starting, you know, it feels like the whole rep system is starting over again. So you start with the people going, did you clear the cache? I'm done. As far as I'm concerned, the, the, the unless it's a, a problem that I know they can 100% put in a ticket for and not fight me or come back and say, I don't see what you're saying. Uh, I'm, I'm I'm done. I'm washing my hands of it. Uh, yeah. So that being said, um, <laughs> I started even looking in, like, uh, I watched Amy and Dan use their, is it Vindu? Cross-listing thing yesterday. And it looked a lot quicker than List Perfectly. Like, I've only used List Perfectly. And I stopped just because it, it's, too slow and too cumbersome and then also when stuff ends and stuff and that so i was watching them do vindu and it seemed a hell of a lot quicker i'm like oh maybe if i decide to go back that route i will probably give that company a chance uh, since it looked very quick and easy so uh, i say if you're going to cross this maybe try both and see which one works the best for you uh, but i don't have no experience with the vindu is it Vindu? I, there's a cash app too. I'm, am I getting them mixed up? That's Venmo. So Vindu and Venmo. Okay. Uh, so so yesterday made it to six hundred and thirty-two dollars. At least that was about fifty dollars more than the day before. Um, traffic down 97% on the organic page views. Um, so supposedly the one did put in a ticket for it and about three hours after the ticket, the one day changed. Monday the 24th, when it was down 90%, is now saying there's a thousand, there was a thousand organic views and it's up 2.3%. Yesterday still saying down 94%. Today is down, or yesterday was down 97%. The day before was 94. So, um, as of right now, my organics are at zero, down 100%. So it just 90, 94, 97, now we're at 100. So, but it's showing I've got five organic sales. So, something there is off, yes. 
But is that, here's the problem. There's so much wrong with the website right now. It's hard to know what connects to what, or if, you know, if one thing is causing all these other issues, or if they're all just, you know, all separate, or if it's just one big spider web mess, it's hard to say. So I'm taking my focus off the organic page views. Because as of yesterday, it said I had 25 organic sales with only 44 views. So clearly that number is off, right? What that entails issue-wise, site-wise, I have no idea. But another problem I noticed is the promoted. So the promoted, I only sold 20 items promoted yesterday. I usually do 45 plus promoted. So with that organic, with that promoted, what it's telling me from my unexperienced experience, <laughs> something within that promoted program is what's causing all these issues. Something within them trying to get the most money out of us is causing all these issues. And instead of getting more money out of us, they're actually hurting us all because we're getting less sales, which means they're getting less fees. They're basically pushing sellers off of their website is what they're doing. They are hand giving, nicely wrapped in a nice little bowl. What not? Here's some of our customers. Poshmark, here's some of our customers. Macari, here's more of our customers. That's what eBay is doing right now. They're handing their competition their business. As I said once before on another video, if I was a huge stockholder in this company, I would be livid right now. Livid. And I would be on that CEO like no other. Clearly, there is upper problems going on when we're 20 plus months into a website that has, dare I say, not even worked 50%. I'm exaggerating probably a little bit there, but there are days where it hasn't worked 50%. There are days where it seemed like it's worked 100, but those are few and far between. A little exaggeration on the 50%, but not too far off. Yeah, I would... In the past, people have always complained about the upper management at eBay, Meg. Uh, that's the only name I remember, Meg. Uh, and then you had the people who was sending out, terrorizing, basically, domestic terrorists. <laughs> terrorizing people who own the website that just talked about eBay. And then you have this guy. And I'm pointing all fingers at this guy because at the end of the day, you're running the company. It's almost kind of like that, the whole Anheuser-Busch Bud Light thing where like when Anheuser, when all this stuff came out and started happening, the head of the company was like, the, the statement felt like he was way far removed from the marketing side. No, marketing side is your responsibility. You're running the whole company, right? So no, no matter what happens anywhere else or how people respond to it or whatever, right or wrong, left or right, who cares? That's not the point. The point is you, you are in charge of every aspect of your company. So if you hire somebody to hire somebody to hire somebody, that's still back on you. So that's my point. So as of right now, we are at 9 a.m. Got nine items sold, five organic, four promoted. And I'm at $135. But yesterday we started out 
pretty decently. And then it just, it never recovered after that, so. What will today bring? I don't know. I have no clue. Because the whole day anymore is totally unpredictable. I didn't even try to work after 8 p.m. last night just because of the four nights prior. I can't, I couldn't upload pictures. So I didn't even try last night. And then dealing with all this stuff, trying to figure things out, like what can I do? You know, a couple of days ago, when it all started, I ended my promoted, started them up again. That didn't do anything. Yesterday, ended items, sold similar. Day before, ended items, sold similar. Had a bunch of server errors that day. I didn't get server errors yesterday or server failures yesterday. I don't think. But I didn't get much listed because I'm just trying to think what can we do next to basically kick the machine and try to make it work right. Anything I do is kind of like that it gives me that feeling. I'm just trying to, I'm kicking eBay going work, work. Because I, I was putting myself, trying to put myself in your guys' headspace. Some of you are saying you've got, you're going days without sales, like, and you don't know what to do anymore. And on my videos, I try to give you guys different things to try. But if none of that, if you've tried all that and it's not working, you know, what what's next? What can we do next? And for you guys, I would say start cross-listing. I'm not in that position where I have to yet. But for you guys, I would say eBay is handing you the keys to other websites. Take it and run. If Macari is having such good sales, people are raving all the time. Little sellers about how they're flipping stuff on Macari. Go. Start cross-listing. When I get below that where I'm not paying my bills... By paying my bills, I mean my payroll, Adrian's payroll, you know, and all the business bills. If I get to the point where eBay's pushing me down below that number, then I'm going to start cross-listing. I mean, with 48,000 items, when I should be doing 900 to $1,500 a day, when the site's working properly to doing 500, 600. Uh, let's do, uh, before we get into some positives, let's, whoops, eBay technical issue. Let's check the down place and the boards real quick. Let's see if anything new has popped up there eBay indicates no current problems at eBay. Well, that's not what the things are telling me. Last night, we got huge spikes again from 7 o'clock to about midnight. So every night, it seems like we're getting those huge spikes on here, showing a lot of people are showing that the site's down. And from yesterday, I've seen a lot of people sharing screenshots of that also. But even as of this morning, we've got still the normal high reports on the website. Should lawmakers look into look at companies that mislead their technical issues when they're going through plat problems? You know, I've often I wondered that too. I mean, I'm sure there's plenty enough in eBay's small print to cover themselves, but I would not be surprised if somebody did start a lawsuit or something with what is going on because if you're running a bigger operation than mine you're going to see a lot more than i'm probably seeing and you're going to have a lot more paperwork and paper trail and issue trail than i have but like i said they probably got enough in their small print that they can't be touched anyway what is that saying uh going up on makes me feel like we have have to go into debt to support eBay through these challenging times. I have no confidence in the leadership of the company and the company. If the reseller had to vote, I don't think this guy would be there anymore. 
Yeah, I 100% agree with that. I really... And there's... Yeah. I'm, okay, I'm done. <laughs> I ain't even gonna go into that. Alright, let's go on the boards and see if anything else is going on. That uh, thread I told you guys to go on, it looked like it really got a lot more uh, comments on it yesterday. All right, let's see. Today is the 27th. Can't send invoices. Yeah, I know there was checkout issues. Um, people not being able to check out properly also. So, No purchase history. eBay massive issues ongoing for over a year. That sounds like something I would say. <laughs> the new issues pop up day by day. 100% true on that. Good Lord. You know that's true. This dude wrote a long paragraph. Kind of the way I'm talking on these videos. Here's another one with technical issue, unwanted country redirection when following links or items. So we know we have the other countries coming up in our searches over U.S. So I'm curious to see what this says. I wanted to report this issue, issue which I have been meeting, meeting for several months. This is not blocking, but an irritant. Uh, when you try to sell from an existing item, I guess sell similar, I guess. Redirect. He's redirected to ebay.co.uk instead of eBay US. So I guess when he's trying to use sell similar, it's, it's direct redirecting them to international websites. I don't I don't use that so I have no idea about that issue so there's been a lot of people saying there's been bidding problems too with the bid bidding and the bid clocks and stuff I don't do auctions anymore because I have no faith in them but there are a lot of people complaining about auction and auction clocks And here's that one big thread that's still a big issue. <sighs> I sent everybody to yesterday. So everybody just giving their opinion and their experience. All right, so we know, and even though we can't get through the reps, or at least I can't, I'm pretty sure eBay knows of the issues. I mean, you gotta think they have a lot more on the technical side than we have access to, you know, so I'm sure they see a lot more. So they've got to know all the problems, but then it goes to what I said yesterday. Is it known? Is it known causing this or is it really issues? You know, are they experimenting with things to try to get more money out of promoted somehow? But then if they are, that's what I think is causing a lot of the issues that are bad on our end. All right. 135 at 912. Let's start to listing here or shipping here. I'm just going to take it as stamps.com's out of business. <laughs> I've got $150 over there. I should just email and tell them to give me my money back. I'm going to 
probably do that today if I remember. Because there's no point in having $150 sit over there if I can't use your service. Give me my money back. All right. This one must have just sold. Did I pull it? Or did he, he already pulled it, okay. There was like three or four that he already pulled. Okay. All right, let's go. First up, we've got Aerosmith, done with mirrors on cassette. Headed to Georgia, sold for $5.99. I like a lot of mailers there. I thought I was going to have to order supplies before the weekend, but with these kind of sales, I can probably hold it off till Monday now. I'm not going through the hat boxes like I was for that those few days when the site was, was working properly for me. Let me, uh, I'll answer some questions here and there too. I got a little bit to ship here. I got like 20 items, I think. But I'll look at the comments too, so we can go over, see if there's anything there to answer for you guys. Since you guys have been awesome enough to give me the gift of your time lately. The one day on freaking YouTube was $85 for me. I was like, what? I never hit $85 in a day that I made. So thank you guys. Least I can do is answer some questions. All right. Um, I guess I did forget to list something or pull something. Or that just sold. Let me see. Go back up, change. Go the wrong way. Oh, yeah, that just sold. So I don't have to. I don't have to go out today. It's vinyl. Okay. I need a, a big box for this. This could be either a woman's hat or a pimp daddy hat. Whichever you prefer. I'm going to be a pimp daddy. <laughs> Headed to Hillsboro, California. Sold for $7. So let me grab some mailers and a box. Grab the wrong boxes. Oh, I did. Ten by six boxes. Huh. I didn't know I had these smaller ones. Okay. Got a little bit of each there. Do -do 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 -do. happened yesterday. I made some notes, but I can't remember what I wrote down. Let's 
see if I can go over your comment real quick and see if that'll give me something to talk about here. So the last time I was down here, I had 14,407 subscribers. Now I've got 14,496 subscribers. Yay! Comments not working. Let's go over here and see. There we go. You completely have the right product for what? Not one sale a week scheduled ahead so your buyers know when. Get rid of the low-end dense stock. If I sold what you did, I would completely do it. Hmm. I guess I need to look into what really sells on whatnot. I know they tried to con they contacted me and wanted me to come on as a DVD seller, but been distracted dealing with a scammer in Canada. Really, I've never had any issues with Canada. Anybody in Canada had to call in. They were extremely helpful. My blood is boiling as the scammer kept messaging me over and over. Trying to get almost a hundred dollars. Ain't happening. Yes, I am right across the chart also. My worst day in the past 30 days was $150 until yesterday. Yesterday I sold three dollars and forty-nine cents. I have nineteen hundred and sixty listings. And it's been over a year since I've had a day of zero sales. Yesterday was scary. See, that's, let me get back to shipping. That's the thing. There's just, whatever is going on, it just, I thought it was getting better just because of, that must be a newer cell. Just because I had those, I had several days in a row that was so good. And then now it's just the worst ever. So I always say it gets better before it gets worse or it gets worse before it gets better. Either way, hopefully it gets better then. So we got the Technique uh, book. Headed to Davenport, Iowa. Sold for It's weird how, it, I mean, when sales are good, it's so easy for me to just list and list and list. Because I've used the statement before, but when it's working, it's fe you're feeding the beast. The eBay used to be the beast. And then I had those four or five days where it was back to being the beast. Like, it was just sale, constant sales every hour, just boom, boom, boom. And so, man, I was just listing like crazy because it feeding the beast. But when it's just down, man, it's just so deflating. All righty. We've got two Jeff Moore cassettes here. Are you ready for a cassette lot? Yeah. Two Jeff Moore cassettes headed to Asheville, North Carolina. Sold for... Thirteen dollars. And what's bad is like for some reason when all these bad things happen, like a lot of my high dollar items will not move. And then I get lower than normal 
like uh, offers from people. And it happens so much that it does not feel like a coincidence, right? When all these problems are going, you just see all these low dollar offers coming in and none of your high dollars. And then once it starts flowing and the eBay's work feels like it's working, then all of a sudden your high, my high dollar stuff just starts exiting selling. I'm like, I, I don't understand that part of it either. Especially now with when I've done the free shipping on all my low dollar stuff. The first couple of days it was, well, at least the first day I was getting what I expected. And that's when the issue started after that. And even those items that I'm competing on the low end with are just not moving now all of a sudden. So as many people speculate, it's probably something to do with where your items are being shown geographically. We got Gardens of the Galaxy t-shirt. Head to Massachusetts, so for 7.30. save this video pirate ship why are you so slow it should take five clicks to print this i gotta say it every every video just so if anybody from pirate ship ever watches my videos it shouldn't take five clicks to print up a piece of paper Ooh, i got a message from a viewer I'm a viewer, and when I saw this hat, I had to have it. I love Ikea and have about 10 Ikea bags in my car at all times. Never know when you have to stop at the bins. Right on that. I can't wait to wear this out. And about Ashley. Thank you, Ashley. And that is an Ikea bag hat. I think I got another one of these in. I think I saw one in some of Jan's stuff that she brought home from the bins. So I think I got another one of these, which will probably be going up in a that's true. I'm pretty sure I did. So we got the IKEA bag. Headed to Louisville, Kentucky. Sold for ten fifty. I don't think this is gonna get damaged in a mailer. <laughs> doink doink. Thank you very much, Ashley. Bag t shirt, one nine. Dun 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 So since I say like I am done with eBay reps. I've got to remember that throughout the day so I can stay motivated on listing. <laughs> list, 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 list. That's what I got to do. So when it comes back on, I'm having $1,500 days every day. Handle Messiah CD. Headed to Atlanta, Georgia. Sold for $6. Because I'm going to say all the positives and all the reinforcements now. So, even though I say them every video, 
I have to pound them into my head every day. They are on a three-year server changeout. We know that. We know that they have the issue with the search that they're, they're working on. They've hired extra help to help work on it. So we know there are major issues. We know they know about them and are working on them. Hopefully, it's just riding the storm out. Riding the storm out. And it's not permanent for here on out. Hopefully, it's just riding that storm out. You would think at some point in time, if they're not on a scheduled uh, routine that the shareholders know about, like they, if they know that, hey, we're on a three-year server server surge change out, right? Exchange, rebuilding, whatever. There's going to be a lot of downtime. There's going to be a lot of problems, but it's because of this. They wouldn't say anything, but you would think that, and actually didn't I saw something yesterday about on the message boards where the first quarters came out better than expected. So something like that's going, not going to make shareholders wake up and say anything if they know what the situation is going on. Basically, no information that we don't, supposedly don't know. So... Because if there was no reason for all this, I'm sure they're smart enough to realize that, hey, something's got to give here, you know, so. So maybe we need to look at it in a way that the people who are earning a lot more money than us who are running the eBay system know more obviously than they tell us but know enough to understand that the company would be going through this situation because you would think if they would not be expecting what is going on what we're dealing with what we're not told about that somebody at least one or two from upper management to high stockholders would be voicing some concern about now So they must all know something we don't like, a.k.a. they are switching out all the servers because they have bad servers. They, you know, I'm trying to, I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying to do the positive thing here. I'm trying. <laughs> all right. Jackie Gleason, thinking of you, Cassette. Head to Grande, California. Aro Grande, California, sold for $6. I'm trying, people. I'm trying. I say, I'm, I'll just, and I'm saying it again. If you can't go out and thrift because you're not making the sales on eBay and you don't have the death pile, start cross listing. That's probably going to be the only thing that's going to save you. If you have the death pile, get it listed. So when it does come back, that stuff will sell. Like I said, when there's issues going on like this, on the days that it happens, no matter what you do is not going to generate more sales. No matter what you list, I get basically no quick flips while this is going on. Meaning the same day or even hours after I've listed it. I can end and sell similar. It doesn't spike the numbers. Now, I do all that stuff when the day is working properly, the site is working properly. All those get me extra sales. Like everything in my store is under three months now, I believe. So, because I've ended and relisted so much. Ended and sell, sell similar so much. The legendary... Jim Reeves, head to Greenfield, New Hampshire, sold for five dollars.
but like I said yesterday, eBay's got more traffic than all the other sites combined, and Amazon's not on that list, so Amazon's in a world of their own, so. But any of the other reseller sites, all of them combined don't even hold a candle to eBay's traffic. Which is why when you only sell like 20 items, when you have 48,000 items, you know that all that traffic's not seeing your stuff for a reason. All right, we got some Jordan shoes. Point Lane Youth headed to Laredo, Texas. Sold for $14. So I've been trying other ways to get things seen. So um, probably starting this weekend, I'll be listing some videos on the weekends. Pause that. 188. Showing the items that I'm listing. So you're going to see those videos on the weekend. I'm going to try to... Uh, aim those videos, since most of you guys watching these videos are resellers. I'm going to try to, in my wording and in my thumbnail and stuff, try to direct those to people who would buy the items. In doing that, I know I get less views on them, right? So I'm hoping getting the less view on the weekend and those videos don't hurt the weekday ones. So make sure if you're watching, turn that notification bell on. And even if you see, if you don't mind, even if you see a video that you wouldn't even watch all the way through, please just at least like it for me uh, so that it can get pushed a little bit more, I guess. If you don't mind, you don't have to, but I'd appreciate it. All righty. Lisa Molina, I walk, I would walk through the fire promo CD, single, headed to New York, sold for $8. Love my promo CD singles, haven't said that in a while. I was selling a lot of those for quite a while there. My hair keeps tickling my nose. What's up, Mr. Vern? You baby boy. You baby boy. Where are we at? 49 minutes. Got about 10 minutes worth of shipping left. Let me uh, go and see if there's a question or something, another topic real quick. <clears throat> I try to keep these around an hour so I don't take up too much of your time. Um, scan some of these and try to find a question or something. Yeah, I, a lot of people have been saying this. I called the eBay customer service last night and was told nothing is wrong with my store. Yeah, that's one reason I feel like they're all newbie people and it's kind of just 100% pointless nowadays. And I think that's by design, honestly. I really do. So McDonald's employee hat headed to Princeton, Minnesota, sold for nine fifty. I think that's all by design just to to hold us down. The man's holding us down. <laughs> Not let the man hold us down. We must make noise. If they will not listen to us, we will make them listen to us. We will make videos. We will comment on videos. We will flood the message board. We will make 
noise. I'm trying to channel like my Martin Luther King and stuff and oh. <laughs> oh, little hat box. I have a dream that one day eBay will work flawlessly every day, all week, all month, all year. I have a dream that we will prosper, that our bank accounts will explode. They are so full of the money flowing in. I have a dream you can get the car of your dreams because you work hard every day. I have a dream. That if you want to buy something, you shall buy it without any technical issues. Is this dream so outrageous? Is this dream so outlandish? No, for it is the American dream. The dream of access. The dream of more. The dream of we throw crap out the door because we don't want it no more. What other country in history does that? We didn't even do it during the Depression because we knew we are the land of access, excess, and so much glory. Why aren't we living as such? Okay, I'm done. Sorry. Uh, Mojo Nixon. Headed to Port Jefferson, Stanton, New York. No, I'm clicking on the wrong thing. That's something else. That's yes. Port Jefferson, Stanton, New York. We've got Louis Armstrong, New Orleans to New York. 45 set. Uh, sold for $37. And I need a mirror for it. Mojo Nixon headed to Ferndale, Michigan. Sold for five dollars. Five dollar make you holla. Cause I'm a cheap whore. I'm cheap whore. Five dollars make you holla. Cause I'm a cheap whore. I'm a cheap whore. Brown down down. This is total bull. Yes, it's bull. Down 50%. Thought it's because I wasn't a listing enough. I try my best. This is very frustrating. That's the main reason for these videos. Honestly. It's so you don't feel alone. Because even I feel like it's only me, even though I know it's not. So, Mr. Bean. Sealed. I picked this up at that new thrift store, if you've seen that video. And so, finally sold an item. <laughs> Told you I was trying to find quick items and I ended up buying slow items, but I knew what I was doing. I spent $30, so this sold for $30. Headed to La Lavina, Montana. 
So at least I finally got not counting my fees. Most of my money back. I gotta remember Saturday to go to, back to that guy's yard sale and I'll have hopefully my first yard sale video up this weekend. bag t-shirt size and then add media mail qualifies it because the, one of the most frustrating things is when you think it's you you're worried about how do I change this how do I what do I gotta do but my goal in these videos is to say it's not just you don't worry about it. Let's get through it. Keep listing. All right, we got another. Are you ready for a cassette light? Yeah. One thing you might want to pay attention to, which I never really noticed it before, but record store day, it's... I've noticed this time around more than any other, because I kind of paid attention, that Mr. Big, what was the other one the other day? I don't remember now, but I mentioned it in the video, that a record was released on Record Store Day, and then I was selling a CD or something of that artist, and it probably sparked the interest. Mr. Big's, I think the first album was released again on vinyl on Record Store Day, and now I just sold three Mr. Big cassettes. So probably off that same basis would be my guess. So these three cassettes headed to St. Charles, Illinois, sold for Random Axe Q101 CD. Head to Crystal Lake, Illinois. Sold for $7. We're closing in on that hour mark. So let's see what we got here. Let me knock these out real quick, and then we'll get one more comment or question in. And when I say quick, I mean waiting for these damn five clicks. On pirate ship. I could have baked a cake in that time. The book of sports lists. Headed to Grover City, Pennsylvania, sold for seven dollars. The book of sports lists. Y'all killing me. Y'all killing me. Y'all killing me. Alright, St. Louis Cardinals, League Champions 2013 hat headed to Bozy, Idaho. Sold for $8.50. Bozy, Idaho. Would you call me? All 
I the hole? No, you the hole. You the cheap hole. Five dollars make you holla, cause I'm a cheap hole. I'm a cheap hole. Hat box. Hat box, USA. Hat box, USA. We ship your rider in a hat box, USA. Make a video of James's greatest hits with all the goofy songs I come up with while I'm making these videos, including Hatbox USA. And everyone's favorite, I'm a cheap whore. All right, we got a Volvo hat. Head to Garner, Maine. Sold for $9.50. And the always popular, Are you ready? It's on its way. Hat box USA. I mailed it today because I got paid. Hat box USA. The Lion King. Headed to South Korea. We finally got an international at least. This was last night. Uh, sold for nine fifty. South Korea. Goof that piece of tape up. Didn't I? Wait. Hat box international. Six, six, number of the beast. Boing, I got one more item here. And then we'll look for one more comment or question to round out the video. Somebody says something about my microphone. Sorry, I'm on a phone, so I really don't have a microphone. So when I talk, turn it, I, I realize I need to talk a little louder. Uh, we got a Sunday afternoon gray hat. Headed to Winter Park, Florida. Sold for $8. That should be arriving in the mail. In a t-shirt. Poly bag. Ten. Oh, we got three. Hatbox USA. Hatbox USA. All right, that's all of that. Let's see what we got here. I call customer service. Okay. Already done that. Same, same, same. This is getting bad. Sales dropped drastically. Full, awfully disappointing. I promote it 15%. My sales are dead. Oh. Yeah. Uh, let's see. It's just a lot of people. A lot of you guys agreeing and stuff. So I'm looking for like a helpful question to end it on. Oh, 
check your microphone. <laughs> oh, crap. Well, sorry, I don't have a quick question to help you guys since we're at 105 now. So. Uh, this person says, Mr. Flash Tone, one thing keeping me afloat is auctions. Well, that's good that it's working for you, so. I'm afraid to try auctions again since I was getting zero response to items that I was getting plenty of sales on. Hello, Cool J, Headbangers Ball. Okay, sorry, no quick questions I can see. All right. I don't want to end on a negative note. So. <laughs> That's all those are, which I understand. So, uh, thanks everybody for watching. And let's just try to keep the positives, ride the storm out, keep listing, and hoping that this is not the new normal and that it all will come back to working perfectly again. I've had spots of it, this four and five days where. I was doing nine hundred thousand, twelve hundred dollars before this big crash just happened. So it is possible. It is out there. It has happened, and should happen again in the future. Hopefully sooner than later. So thanks everybody, and I will see you all on the next video. -na 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 -na. Detroit, Rock City, get up. <laughs>